Anfield, one of the most storied venues anywhere in the football world. I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator, and alongside providing all the tactical analysis is Stuart Robson. And we have action from the quarter-final stage of the FA Cup just moments away. It is Liverpool versus Arsenal. Well, a semi-final place is up for grabs, so we should be in for a classic encounter here today. With both teams desperate for silverware, I'm expecting a fiercely competitive contest, Derek. Well, I've been watching Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang in various countries for a number of years, and Stuart, he rarely disappoints. Well, Derek, he's certainly going to be the key player today. Last time out, he scored those two goals, but it was his general play that was outstanding. Getting on the ball, making things happen, and he got his reward with the brace. And I'm expecting to see exactly the same again today. And this is how Liverpool start the game. Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain plays with Naby Keita in central midfield. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. And so the starting 11 for Arsenal. Well, in this shape, their two holding midfield players will be key today. If they can get on the ball and dictate the play, protect the two centre-backs, it will then allow the attacking players to show their creative quality. Options in the centre. Oxlade-Chamberlain. Keita! Well, the keeper committed himself. And there's the delivery. Well, he failed to get it away properly. Oxley chamberlain Now Keita. And the keeper more than equal to the task. Yeah. Will he play it in? Aubameyang! That's a great stop. Well, his reflexes are so good there. That's a fantastic stop. Ben White. Oh, a perfectly timed pass. And a goal! Just when we wondered if this might finish, nil-nil. There it is. They're in front. Well, as you can see, the weight of the through ball is key to this goal. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. He's got the right idea with that pass. Denied by the bar. Back in play here. And the keeper put to the test, but he comes through it. Well, he's so sharp, isn't he? Great first save and then the recovery. This could square the game. But no, thanks to the goalkeeper, opportunity not taken. Well, you're absolutely right, Derek. The keeper's done really well there. But really, that should have been the equaliser. And there's not long left now. They favoured a short one here. Well, he really read that brilliantly. And the push coming to the goalkeeper's aid. Oh, a goal! That levels it in the closing phase of this game. Well, 
Well, here's the replay, and you can see why the manager is furious. It's just really poor play. Offering up possession far too easily in a dangerous area. And at this level, if you keep doing that, you're going to get punished. It's just not good enough. Is that after 90 minutes they are level and extra time is coming up it's a neat move and time in to thwart him it always had the potential to go the distance and it has so a penalty shootout is next It is all about the penalty shootout. Job done from the spot. And straight down the middle. Mental preparation is such a big part of this. He had to score, and he does. Foiled by the post. His turn to try to convert from the spot. Goalkeeper beaten from the spot. And just like that, he's come up with the save. It all falls on his shoulders. If he scores, they win. He's done it from the spot. Tremendous composure to take his team through to the last four. Well, he was under so much pressure, wasn't he? But that's a fantastic finish, and now they can focus on that big semi-final. I think they deserved it. Well, as you can see, the keeper makes no effort in the end. He was hoping it would be struck down the middle, but it's an easy finish, really.